All right, so for the 87 to 93 cars, um, taking the door panel off, it's not that difficult. Um, you got one screw up here on your trim piece for the mirror. You got one screw to take off this trim piece for the door latch. You got one screw back here going into the door. You got one screw here. And then you got one screw down here on the speaker plate. Those are all Phillips. And all right, so I got my screws out. Got my uh, little pile of screws here, my trim plate. Uh, most of you, your trim plate for the mirror will just come right off. I have a speaker inside it, so I just gotta lay it up out of the way. Um, just be careful as you're taking your screws out, you pay attention to see if they look like they're actually the automotive original screws or not. They should be black. They should have a kind of a built-in slip washer on, on them usually. Um, if they look like just a machine screw or a drywall screw or something else, remember what location those are in because if you buy a kit of screws, um, they're likely not going to work if somebody's made the holes bigger or stripped them out. So you'll have to stick with whatever was there before if uh, they've uh, stripped out the old size. So now we're going to pop these little trim pieces out and then take the bolts out of the armrest. I use one of these little picks and uh, just work at the bottom, pull it right out so I don't scratch up anything on the top or what's noticeable. And uh, once you get those out, I believe it is, yep, it's a 3 8 to take these two bolts out. And with the bolts out, you can uh, flip down your armrest and hook those two connectors right there. There's the two bolts I took out, and then it'll just uh, lift right out of there. And with your two connectors undone, again, use your pick to help uh, pry off the latches so you don't break them off. Uh, get your pick underneath one side and use your finger on the other and you can spread them out enough they usually pull right out and then once that's done um, this will come right out all right next is to pull away the christmas tree clips off the back of the panel and that's usually pretty easy um, some will get stuck in the door some will stay in the door panel um, if you have any that are fighting you feel free to get you a trim tool to help pry them out but uh, I've had mine on and off several times so makes it pretty easy I just ordered a new package of clips I'm going to replace a few of them so they don't pop out uh, when you don't want them to and just like that the door panel you just uh, lift up a little bit and then move it forward towards the the door hinges to get it around your handle it pops right out no problem and I've just got it laid down here next now I've got all the butyl, pretty much all of it, off of the door and off of the vapor barrier. I've got some anyway, so I'm not going to mess with trying to patch in the old pieces that stretched out and and uh, peeled apart. I'll just replace what I need uh, with some fresh. And here is the door. You can see I got some sound deadener pieces in there uh, that was left over from a project in the trunk. And I just took some leftover pieces, covered in a lot of the holes to make it a little more quiet. I've also got a couple pieces on the inside. Um, behind here, I rolled the window up, put a couple on the outer skin in the big flat areas. And then when I was done with that, put these pieces on some of the flat areas and then where the holes are. So when I go to adjust in the window, I'll have to cut cut out some of this and in these bigger holes and then just put it back when I'm done, stretch it out a little bit and it'll be just fine. And as a final step, since this is gonna be apart for a while, I'm in no rush to put it back together because I've got a lot of projects to get done before I'm ready to adjust the windows again. And uh, I'm just taking this apart now as part of my disassembly time. So. I just went ahead and put the door handle back on, plugged the connectors in so everything works. It's easier um, than this thing hanging down, trying to use it for the windows and locks and stuff. So I've got that bit back in with those two bolts, and it'll just stay like that for the next couple of months, probably. So. And don't forget to uh, bag up your parts so you know uh, what goes where. All right. As far as a little update on the stereo goes, I have a different video that gives an overall review of everything I've done 
with the car, but uh, I have a two-way six and a half inch kicker KS series uh, component set in the door. And then I have a two and three quarter kicker um, single speaker in the dash. I did not go with a two-way coaxial and tweeter up there because I, I didn't want that many highs with that tweeter competing with that one. So this is just a single cone two and three quarter kicker KS. I've got the tweeter up there that uh, I put into the trim panel for the mirror and then the six and a half. So it came with a, a separate um, crossover. And what I've done is I found a spot. Um, there was a flat metal bracket that I could just uh, double-sided tape that to. And then I used some butyl to keep my wires in a few spots, uh, prevent rattling and keep the wires so they won't move away. Cause you don't want anything to get back behind and into your door and window um, mechanism or you'll have a bad day. But all of that is well away and uh, secured with butyl or zip ties, other things like that. Um, I don't need to get in there and move anything. I don't care about seeing the crossover somewhere on a panel in the back. I just wanted it out of the way. And uh, putting it right here meant I didn't have to run near as much speaker wire um, between speakers and the crossover and the amps. So um, this was my solution. And uh, then I put a foam housing um, back behind the speaker so no water is going to get into it. And that's just a single piece foam uh, kind of a cap that you can put in the door hole and then put the speaker in to seal it off from inside the door. Uh, they say it probably is supposed to help with sound a little bit too, but I don't know about that. I just did not want uh, moisture and weather getting on it. So that's what I've done in the doors um, as far as the stereo system goes.